if you're building an app and you're trying to use a large language model like ChatGPT, you have two options here. You have uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4. And with billions more parameters that this model has been trained on, GPT 4 performs way better than GPT 3.5 Turbo. But when you're using it in an app, the pricing difference between the two models can be astronomical. So this is the pricing page of OpenAI. And this gives a little insight to how much it could cost. Just look at the difference between the 8K context model for GPT 4 and the 4K context model for GPT 3.5. Let's say you're going to create an ebook. So I'm going to pull up the calculator here. And an ebook could be in the range of 100,000 tokens. So you know, probably even more if you're going to get a longer one. But let's just start with that. So 100,000 divided by 1,000 times 0 0.03, $3. So using GPT-4, it would cost $3 to create an ebook. And I have an ebook app coming. And if this app had hundreds of users and each of them is creating an ebook in one go using GPT-4, that could cost me thousands of dollars just in language generating costs. So let's compare that to GPT-3.5 Turbo. And same thing here, 100,000 divided by 1,000 times 0 0.0015, 15 cents. $3 divided by 15 cents. It costs 20 times more to use GPT-4 than GPT-3.5. But if you ever use both of those models, GPT-4 is way better. Output is stronger. The language is better. It understands your prompt. You know, GPT-3.5 can just go off the rails. And when you're using the two, there's no doubt which model is the better one. So that's our problem. How do we make GPT 3.5 Turbo perform as good as GPT 4? And I figured out a way to do it. And the secret lies in examples. And I'm going to open up my one web app. So this is a web app that I've offered for free. If you're interested, here's another video in the top right corner. It shows how you can use this and where's the URL to go to this. But basically it's a YouTube title generator. And what you do is you write in your video description into this input box. Then you click generate title and it shoots out an SEO viral clickable title that you can just put for your YouTube video. Now I'm offering this completely for free. You don't even have to sign up for an account. But if I was using GPT-4, I don't think I could offer this for free. It'd be way too expensive, especially if I'm getting hundreds of visitors to this website a day. Now it's not worth it financially as a business. So I had to find a way to get it to work with GPT-3.5 so I could offer it for free. And now going to the workflow tab, and this is the workflow when this button generate title is clicked. Step two is OpenAI GPT. And what we're doing is we're calling the GPT 3.5 Turbo model with an API call. And the initial prompt is you've been given a list of the best video titles on YouTube. Using that as a reference, write a title for the video description below. Title should be short to the point and have some important words capitalized like this. And the cool thing with the chat GPT API call is you have the option to use the AI assistant and write a system content message that is sent before your prompt. And all you have to do to make GPT 3.5 as powerful as GPT 4 is to tell it exactly what you want the output to look like. So in this example, I went through all of the best videos from some of the top subscribed channels in my niche, and I took the highest click-through rate titles, like I used to be a slave to my mind until I learned this, how to make passive income with ChatGPT and Midjourney AI. This free AI comic book creator is incredible. And I took 50 titles, 50 video titles, and I organized them all in this initial prompt. So what the API call is doing, what the model is doing, is it's first getting a list of examples so it knows that the output has to look something like this and then it's following the prompt so if you do this you get much better results you know it takes a bit of time to find all this information or to write a bunch of examples i probably used way more than i needed i used 50 in this one but just giving it a little context before you send the prompt you can get this lower model to outperform so when doing this let's show what an output would look like so i'm going to preview this all right and this is that page that i showed you so input box let's do a sample video I grew the world's biggest watermelon in my backyard. I grew it in the eastern United States, used watermelon seeds I purchased from Amazon. It took about two months for it to grow. So I have a silly video description here and let's see what the title spits out. Again what it's doing is in the background it's seeing all of these high click-through rate titles 
from very popular YouTube videos, videos with tons of views, and then it's going and it's following the prompt, and this one it's writing a new video title. So we're gonna hit generate title, and this is the title spit out, look at this. I grew the world's biggest watermelon in my backyard, see how I did it. And look, some of the words are capitalized, just like the titles that I shown in my example. Look at insanely good, is capitalized in this title. Supercharge, passive income. And when you look on viral YouTube videos, some of the words in the title are capitalized. So just by giving it some context, just by giving it some examples, I was able to get GPT 3.5 to perform as good as GPT 4. If you're not using the API, let's say you're not building an app, you're just using ChatGPT, let's close this. Now this would be relevant for people who are not on the ChatGPT Plus plan, because if you're on the plus plan, just use GPT-4, you can bypass all of this. But if you're using GPT-3.5, the way to do this would be either to provide examples in your input box before the message starts, or you can just use custom instructions. And custom instructions are available on all plans. The two things are, first box, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? And then the second one is, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? And each of these input boxes gives you 1,500 characters to use as a pre-context kind of like what I showed in the web app. So this is just putting that part of the API call to a visual UI that you can use. So let's say I wanna do the same thing. I wanted to create viral YouTube video titles. All I'd have to do is provide a bunch of examples of how I want the title output to look in these input boxes, save this, and now every chat that I use will draw from these custom instructions. So I'm back in my bubble app, it's the YouTube page, it's the API call, I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste this in, as you can tell it's way over the prompt limit, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this up, half and half. All right, there we go. We have two full input boxes of clickable titles, we hit save. All right, now we have this enable. Let's see what it can spit out. And the prompt is, you've been given a list of the best video titles on YouTube. Using it as a reference, write a title for that video description below. The title should be short to the point and have some important words capitalized like this. In quotes, I trained chat GPT 3.5 Turbo to perform like GPT-4. I did this with custom instructions and by providing it many examples. Let's hit enter. And there we go, it shot out a video title. So again, multiple ways you can do it. It works best with the API call and using the system content message in the API. So just provide a bunch of examples within your context window, within your token limit, and then make sure your prompt talks about those examples. That's the first way to do it if you're building a web app. Now the second way is to use the custom instructions tab. You could also do it where you can provide a context prompt in the first part and then just provide examples in the second part. And then the third way is to just provide a bunch of examples in your initial input prompt. You know, so something like this. So like here are some video title examples and then using that as a reference, write a title for a video description below. And again, you get a viral title. So this is a way to save on cost. If you're running a web app using the OpenAI API, or if you're on the ChatGPT free model, you're not on ChatGPT Plus, and you don't want to use ChatGPT 4. All right, that's it for now. Peace.